an inch two. It's currently running on the Nikon D800 uh, with the automatic mode for 24 p out So we take the uncompressed feed directly from the camera sensor via the HDMI to the input. So here we're recording at 24p on the Ninja. So we're recording to either Apple ProRes, which is a 10-bit 422 codec, to either HQ, 422 or LT. We're also adding DNX HD codecs later on in both 10-bit and 8-bit. So what we do when we're recording, we're recording onto a hard disk drive, which is just in a caddy behind. So at the minute we're using a Seagate hard disk drive in here, but you can also use solid state drives as well. So when the hard drive's in there, basically what it will do is it will register so you format your hard drives in there and then you're ready to go. It will give you, at the minute we're using HQ, so it's a 500 gig hard drive, we're going to get about 6 hours of HQ on here. So to be able to power it, we've got a dual battery system. So we have here battery 1, which is nearly depleted. When it does deplete, it will automatically jump to battery 2 whilst recording. So it won't interrupt your record at all. So we've got your audio here. So you've got two channels of audio coming in via your HDMI. You can select which one you want to record just by pressing the button and it will monitor it here and on your main screen. We've also got two channels of line level input via a, a mini jack in on the side and you can monitor it with your headphones via an output. We've also got a HDMI output here so that will loop through what's coming in and what you play back out. So what we can do from the main screen is so we'll jump into monitor mode. I'm just going to focus on the stage. So we've got your monitor here. And basically you can take your monitor off so you get the full screen monitor or you can have your overlay on. You've got a record stop button in the corner and here you've got your audio monitoring here. You can adjust your headphones here. We're also adding a few peaking, zebra, false colour and blue for exposure. They're not quite in here yet but they will be on the, on the released version. And we've also got some new tagging features. So if I go into record here, you can see you get your record bars and your time codes going. If I click this button, we can now mark in and out with our favourites and rejects, which are all exported via XML into Final Cut. So simply just press it on, and that starts your end point. Thank you very much. Press it off, it stops it. Thank you. And the same with the reject. Thank you very much. We just take that out. We can press stop here. You can also start stop from here. We've added new HDMI time code and HDMI triggering as well. The cameras that, that will support will be uh, small at the beginning, but that will be expanded as, as the uh, production goes on. That's pretty much it. So then we can go into playback mode and we can play back what we've recorded. So that just acts as the hard drive. So you just simply select it and you can jump through. Of course, you can go frame by frame. Again, you can take the overlay off or on. You've still got your focusing here. We're adding in and out markers, and there will also be a loop playback as well. And again, you can add your, your tagging in the playback mode as well. That's pretty much a Ninja 2. So basically what you get with the Ninja 2 is we get this box here. So it comes in a complete kit. So you get your Ninja 2. You get two caddies which are empty so you just need to add your hard drive. You get a docking station which is USB 2, 3 and Firewire 800. You get all those cables in the box as well so you don't need to buy them. You get a charger and two Sony MP equivalent batteries that we provide. So you're pretty much ready to go. All you need is your HDMI cable and your hard drive. Thank you. Thank you.